What's up guys and welcome to the tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general readings for somebody. So before I pull the charms, I do want to say in my description box, I do have my social medias on there. Um, I do have my Instagram on there. I post five to six times a week and um, I just give spiritual advice. I post spiritual memes on my story. On Snapchat, I do post twice a week. I pull for all zodiac signs. Um, in case you don't want to wait for YouTube on video on YouTube to come out, you can go catch it on Snapchat. Just a quick little what's going on. This week, just wanted to let you guys know on Snapchat, I have posted um, what we need to release for this Mercury retrograde. So if you want to go check that out, go check it out. All right, so well, let's see who's going to get this reading. We have Pisces. Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Welcome, welcome, or welcome. Um, Pisces, thank you so much for being here. All right. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, and obviously, you see that things are different. And this is how it's going to be for a while. Um, <laughs> I've just been in this mood where I don't want to see people deal with people. And I guess it, it went over into YouTube, but now I just want to be like behind the scenes for a while. So, um, messages is still going to be the same. I just taking a break from the camera, but I still want to get the messages out there. So this is how I decided to do it. All right. Um, so yeah, this message resonate with you. If you have Pisces as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Um, also if you're dealing with a Pisces to resonate with you, it'll just be reversed. And also remember Pisces, you can change the roles as needed okay all right pisces let's see what's going on with you with this moment the layout is going to be different as well i like to switch things up on my channel so yeah all right spirit what's going on with pisces four of swords two of swords i'm trying to come up with a decision here let's see Pisces, sorry, Pisces. So we have to know this moment, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Thank you. Okay, what else? Thank you, what else? What else? Thank you. Sheesh. Wow, Pisces. All right, bottom of the deck is the nine, I'm sorry, eight of swords and in revas. Yeah, look at that. Seven of wands underneath that. And then you have the empress underneath that. You ain't not allowing nobody to get into your space. She. All right, let's talk. So the first card you have is the seven of cups here. Okay, so I feel like you're realizing something. It's like the veil came off, okay? Um, the illusion is over. Something that you thought you taking a leap of faith somewhere. Something that you thought, <clears throat> something that you thought was something, now you see is not that. Okay, you have the ten of wands here. It's a lot of responsibility, a lot of burdens here that you're pulling through. Okay, uh, we're gonna clarify heavy energy. Then you have the ten of cups here. There's something that isn't making you happy here. It's in reverse. It came out reverse. I'm gonna. That's and they told me to take it like that, so that's how I'm taking it. There's something here that isn't making you happy. All right. Uh, you have the fool here, though, which I love. You're taking a new leap of faith in a new direction. The hierophant is here. This is marriage. But this is also your morals and your values here, okay? And then you have the magician, all right? You're manifesting something into your space here. We're going to clarify each of these and see exactly what's going on, okay? The seven of cups here. Can you clarify the seven of cups? We're going to use an oracle deck to clarify. Seven of Cups, there. Can you verify Seven of Cups? Why is the Seven of Cups in the base here? Rest. Okay. 33, I just saw on the timer. Listen to your body mentally and physically unwind. Balance, denial, and realignment. Yeah, I mean, a lot of you guys were in denial, obviously. Like I said, um, you were failing to accept a certain situation for what it... Like, you were refusing to see a certain situation for what it really was here. Okay? And it's like... 
it's like you had to realign your perspective to bring balance into a situation because it could have had you like the situation could have had you all fucked up and then you were like what's going on and then when you actually sat down and like unwind and really took some time for yourself you're like wait hold up okay and because you've done this realization here look at this we have a new opportunity coming in all right but you don't even see also um whatever this new opportunity is going to be the situation that you're going through right now is going to help you in that thing isn't that crazy in that new thing isn't that crazy how the universe works guys like, they're, just, they're just beautiful and amazing i love them all I love the universe. All right, the ten of wands, the ten of wands, and they're just also doing a lot too. You're overworking yourself, okay? Ten of wands, and they want you to kind of like just take a chill pill. You have wisdom, all right? Yeah, like I said, don't be so hard on yourself, okay? I feel like some of you guys are like, why didn't I realize that before? Don't be so hard on yourself because, you know. The steps that it took you to realize that something was fishy or that something wasn't what it was is growth. You needed to learn that you how to get your how to get yourself out of an illusion state of mind. Like you had to learn that. And the only way to learn that is to put you in an illusion and, you know, make it so, you know, not make it so but when, we, when we're put in illusion, like we have to get ourselves out of it. All right. And you did that. So cahoots to you pisces you have release putting up putting in the work and retreat again they want you to spend some time alone or you guys are really spending some time alone and this is the best this is the best thing for you right now is to get away from people and just be with your thoughts and your intuition all right a lot of you guys are putting in the work to release a lot of things a lot of pent up wounds if you're not you should start doing that okay release things from the past let things go okay divine timing everything has a higher purpose so this is happening for something better to come in all right if you're leaving i feel i feel like this is like you're leaving something behind honestly um but it might not be but if it's not it's just that this needed to happen for something else to occur okay thank you so much can you clarify the kind of cups here Ask your angels, okay? Release overcoming obstacles and spread your wings, all right? Um, release <laughs> its passions. I said release, but maybe you guys need to release um, a lot of worry here, a lot of pent-up feelings that you have. A lot of you guys are trying to figure out how you can be happy, how you can emotionally be happy, and they're asking you to pray to your angels or your God, whoever you believe in here, okay? you are going to be overcoming some obstacles here. You are absolutely going to be doing that. You're also, they also want you to focus on your passions. I feel like that's how you're going to become a lot more happier and a lot more stable Pisces. If it's, if it, you start focusing on the things that make your heart happy, whether that's an extra hop, a, a, a job, a career, an extracurricular activity, a hobby, whatever, focus on that and watch everything just come in alignment. Um, focus on the things that make your heart happy again. All right. You're going, this is going to give you the confidence to you to spread your wings and to go out and find your passion if you don't have one divine counterpart okay a divine connection sent to you from your angels this person was meant to be in your life to show you to either show you um to either show you a lesson teach you something okay so it's like, don't be so hard on this person. Don't be so negative. Don't be like, oh, you know, if this is a person that's actually doing something to you and it's not like a situation, don't be hard on this person, all right? Because the universe is saying, like, this person was meant to you. Even in the situation, the situation was sent to you from your angels because you needed, to, you needed to learn this. It's kind of like trying to accept the situation and move it on. I feel like that's what they're trying to emphasize, to accept it and know that this needed to happen, okay? A lot of you guys also want to know how to how to start new, like how to start fresh after this situation. And it's kind of like they want you to ask them, pray. I don't know if you guys meditate, you guys should meditate. If you don't, pray before you go to sleep. They will give you the message in however way it, it is for you, right? Whether it's in a song, in a car driving by, in a message from a from a from a person, I don't know. All right. The fool, can you clarify, please spirit? It's different for all of you. Then you have balance juggling too much find time for yourself leap of faith recognition and peace so 
you're definitely taking a leap of faith and you're stepping into something that you into the unknown right okay and i, and I feel like they're stepping into what's making you happy here because you, you're tired of being unhappy um and it's gonna take a lot of work for you to do this and the universe i feel like this is them the recognition it's like your angels your spirit guides they see you they see what you're doing they this is a very difficult situation for you to take a leap of faith um and not know what's on the other side of that situation but you know that where you are now is not happy it doesn't make you happy so you're taking a leap of faith and you're going to find peace doing that if this is a question whether you should take a leap of faith and go a different direction you should you're going to be a lot more in a peaceful mindset okay but you have to make this decision and you have to stick with it once you make this decision a lot of you haven't decided yet but it's in your energy so i i know you're thinking about it but it'll become clearer the universe will start giving you ideas and downloads and, and how to maneuver in certain ways once you have made your decision your intuition will tell you you know they'll give you little bits and pieces as to how to maneuver but you have to make a decision and stick on it okay A lot of you guys could be dealing with Taurus and Aries. Is something else for it? Yeah. But you don't have to be. All right. Then you have retreat. Okay. The time time spent alone reflection on past and current situations. A lot of you guys, um, you guys are in a marriage. You guys could be separated right now. Okay. You have lovers, declutter, and divine timing here, okay? Um, there is a passionate connection, all right, that you share with someone here, okay? Um, I got two things, all right? For a lot of you, they're asking you to, to release this person, all right, with the declutter. Um, I feel like everything has a higher purpose, whether that's you release them right now and you don't get come back together in a different time or they were just meant to be in your life for a season, not forever. 12, 12 on the, on the timer. For others of you, it's a need for you to find, you need to separate from this person for right now. You need to be alone. Um, you need to be alone, okay? And away from this person, whether it's a couple of days, whatever, go see your family, go on a retreat somewhere, I don't know. But, you know, they want you to um, spend some time with um, with good company here, whether that's your family, your friends, all right? Because I feel like there's something that you're not getting, okay? Even the denial card came out, but it's like even that, I just feel like you're still not getting it. You're still not getting it. Um, so that's why they want you to spend time alone here for those of you who aren't, you know, letting go of something. But I feel like it's, there's two different prices that I'm speaking to here. I really do. And just know that everything has a higher purpose, okay? A lot of you guys are trying to manifest something in the middle of a, freak, of a chaos. I was going to say freaking chaos because it's just kind of like, you know, you can't, you can't find peace in chaos. As you just can't. You need to be at peace. You need to be... That's why I said a family's house, right? Or a friend's house. The magician. Right? The magician. Because you're not thinking clearly. You're not seeing things for how they are. So you can't, you won't be able to manifest well. You have confession here. Okay. Re releasing a secret, pursuing virtue through honesty. Okay. You have embraced, find your current state of being, past life connection, and obsession. I feel like a lot of you are trying to manifest. It's like it's like you, you're gonna you're gonna tell somebody what you're manifest. I don't know. We're, we're gonna click. We're gonna see what you're manifesting. But I feel like a lot of you guys want to let somebody know what you're manifesting. Okay, could be a Taurus that you want to tell them what you're like what you what you truly want to create here. All right. Um, if somebody died from a past life, and if somebody died um, in this lifetime, they are in your energy right now. So you might be feeling them might be happening where little things might be happening to you okay uh you have obsession so it's like whatever you're manifesting like you're you're really like kind of obsessed with whatever this is we're gonna clarify we're gonna see and you need to be okay with what you have 
okay? You need to be grateful with what you have at the moment before you can ask for anything else, is what I'm getting, Pisces. Spirit, the magician, what? Is Pisces manifesting at this moment for magician? Is Pisces manifesting at this moment for magician? Okay, you're trying to you're trying to manifest a new passionate beginning with somebody here because you just want to move forward because you you you're it's like. I think you, you're you're tired of being in these rocky waters, so you're just like you, you wanna you're trying to come up with like something creative to like get you guys out of these rocky waters. But look at this, you have a side, the six of cups again, like the six of cups again. But it's in reverse, so I feel like a lot of you guys are coming out here. Okay, ace of cups, page of wands, page of cups, but it's like. Yeah, I don't know. It's like you're not listening to your intuition. Like, it's just like I feel like you're trying to manifest something that is like, it's not. It's not. That's just what I feel. Like, there's no passion in the beginning to move forward. I mean, I get it. But it's like you shouldn't want to make a beginning. You shouldn't want to create a passionate new beginning just to move forward, just to get out of the out of the um, funk. 1616, 16, I just saw. Like, you have to be, you have to be able to want a new brand new, brand new beginning because you truly want that deep down inside not because you just want things to be beautiful and flowery again because you because you're tired of dealing with the bs or you, you don't like it being stalemated so you just want it like it's kind of like a dog right a dog is barking crazy 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 and you just throw him a bone because you want him to shut up but not because he deserves it you know what i'm saying that's kind of what they're saying and it's just like you have to find peace with how you are right now embrace these emotions of how you feel right now because you're feeling them for a reason and it's like don't try to deny or give excuses or um anything I was gonna, uh, there's another word i'm trying to think about um but it's like you're upset you're focusing too much on how to move forward instead of how to prevent it from happening again you know what i'm saying like it, it's it's not like just sweep it under the rug and make it look better. It's take that shit off off of the rug, look at it, embrace it, see what's happening with it. Okay, that's just what I feel. All right, um, let's see what your advice is. I don't feel like I have to um really clarify anything else. Honestly, I feel like a lot of you guys also need to ask your angels and pray for how to lighten your load here. Okay. Um, how to find balance in your emotions. Okay, you need to find time for yourself. That's how you're gonna be able to balance out your emotions if they're like everywhere. All right, they want you to take this new leap of faith, but with you by yourself. Okay, um, time spent alone. And they really, they want you to really tell this person how you really feel, and don't hold back here. Okay. Take some time to rest as well because you're going through a lot. You're doing you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. Okay. But just know that all this unhappiness is is giving you knowledge that you're gaining. Okay. So it's not all in vain. Nothing is ever in vain. All right, Pisces. All right, let's pull some advice for you. I was going to clarify more, but I don't feel like I need to. Also, um, I'm going to do an all signs video either today or Monday. Not sure when. Um, I'm going to do an all signs video, and it's going to be about what we need to release for this Mercury retrograde. Since I'm doing it on Snapchat, I also want to do it on here for those who don't have Snapchat. Um, I realized when I did the Snapchat video videos um i realized almost every sign is going through a breakup or a separation at the moment so i feel like a lot of people could use some clarity um and yeah because whatever you don't you know this mercury retrograde and this eclipse as well is going to i think the eclipse lasts till like three to five months or something like that um so it's like whatever decision you make like let's just say you're supposed to leave someone and you don't and then you're going to be stuck with that 
and then it's like if you don't make the decision within the next three to five months like you're going to be stuck with that um not bad decision that hard lesson that you're going to have to learn for a lot longer whether than you just cutting it out right now before it could get messier all right so um watch out for that video pisces but what is your advice here for pisces feel like um a lot of you like i just heard just talk okay i feel like for a lot of you it's just a simple conversation for others of you it's a lot more deeper than that because there's marriage involved here okay um but all right but just i'm going to clarify the hierophant so that's what i'm going to do real quick the hierophant is going to clarify the hierophant yeah you're not listening to your intuition your intuition is telling you what you got to do pisces but you're just scared it's fear okay you're into there's there's like you guys are going through an argument in your situation here and this commitment all right um and it's like your intuition is telling you to just love yourself right now Focus on yourself and you're not listening to it, okay? You're not you're not pouring love and energy into yourself right now. So um, there's that. So that's the hierophant. Um, so you have starfish. Trust your intuition. Trust your instincts. Yeah, th your intuition is speaking to you, Pisces. And I feel like a lot of you guys, the, de the decision that you have to make is a hard one. Okay, it has to do with your morals, your values here. But sometimes... Pisces, we have to do what's best for us, regardless of what other people are say or do. Okay, and even even the even though it might be a crazy situation, it's gonna look crazy to other people, and it might even look crazy to you. But if that's if that is a path, like just put yourself in that position real quick. Just think about how you would be if you listen to your intuition, right? This is this is the thing that's popped into my head as well. What choice would you make if you knew that that whichever choice you made you would be supported meaning what choice would you make if you knew that if i make choice a it's going to go to my best benefit i'm not going to fail and it's going to go smoothly and, and good but if i choose b it's going to be the same thing it's going to be smoothly and good no matter which way i choose it's going to work out think of it like that put yourself in that position and i bet you you the clarity is going to be amazing amazing it might be hurtful might realize like oh shit i've been what but it's okay it's okay we're meant to do that but if you do that you're getting yourself out of this fog all right you have palm tree bringing ideas to life magical creations yeah this is the manifestation part right a lot of you guys what you guys truly want is coming anchor have faith and choose optimism right but you have to have faith and you have to stay optimistic that it's going to work out no matter what all right, Pisces, that's all that I have for you today. I hope this brought some clarity or some insight into your situation. And yeah, have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.